Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Welcome to Bluetooth speakers. Tech. Bluetooth tech channel. And today, on this channel, we're going to be just not getting this kicked off, first of all. I'm going to say, hey, thank everybody for tuning in with me. Um... I uh, know it's going to probably be quite a few people that's going to be coming over from the actual uh, Mississippi Survivor channel. But nevertheless, this channel is all about Bluetooth speakers, the different types of Bluetooth speakers, trying to help people figure out, hey, uh, what Bluetooth speaker fits them the best and for what application. I mean, because people like Bluetooth speakers for pretty much a ton of different stuff. Uh, people have them in the bathroom, they're taking showers and um, playing spade games or whatever the case may be, out on the lawn, barbecuing. It just depends what fits that application and what type of crowd you got, and how loud you want it, how many decibels, how much bass you got, all of these different things. It's all going to be taken for into account. First of all, to be clear, not, I got one video on here already. It's an older video, like two years ago, where I, I attempted to start, and then I changed my mind. I had started doing some other stuff, and two years later, boom. So now we're back two years later. <laughs> I, in that time, I started the Mississippi Survivor Channel, and 90 videos or so ago. So, <laughs> so but... Nevertheless, we're back um, because of copyright infringement and things of that nature. I won't be doing it, probably doing it in music. I might do a ringtone or something like that that's straight from the phone and see how that. Every. It's just, I mean. Uh, we're going to ignore that. But like I say, every time I get ready to do these videos, these phones just ring. They ring no other time but then. But nevertheless, we going to ignore that. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, because of copyright infringement, I'm trying to stay away from the music game unless I uh, buy some actual music that I can use for sampling just to sample so you can hear it. But I honestly don't even think it's really not necessary, to be honest with you, because all the music is going to sound the same coming through this phone or whatever you video with, it's not going to sound any better. It's You can't do it justice unless you actually in the building with it. So it's really kind of a waste of time to even try to play it. You can hear it, whip, weave, but you don't know the quality of it because you're not here. I, mean, I can just, you have to go off my word and tell you, hey, if it's worth it or not. I know what I like. I know if it's if it ain't got no bass on it, depend on the application, then I'm like, nah. But sometimes, some of them are, are pretty loud with good tone. The tone, I can deal with that. That's cool. And, that, I mean, you can go with that like that. But, again, it's really up to you what you want and what's your your preference, to be honest with you. I'm just going to bring them to you as I get them. And, again, I am not being sponsored by anybody. And... These all this all these things are, I'll be buying, purchasing myself, and uh, sampling. Which it might be able to save somebody some money. So they might, hey, this is four hundred watts, which would be BS a lot of time. <laughs> this is four hundred watts, and that joker is not four hundred watts. That boy like ten watts. It's not. They ain't have the true wattage of it. And a lot of those generic ones, they had these fake. They put that on there to sell for you people that don't know. They, I, I ain't trying to mess them up, but I'm just being honest. I mean, I ain't going to lie to the viewers because the viewers are the people. Y'all don't want to got to buy this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to lie to my viewers. And, I mean, if it's not 400 watts, it's not 400 watts. If you get a speaker and the speaker is this big, and they tell you on the box it's 400 watts. Somebody tell the story. Somebody lying to you. Because <laughs> it's not 400. How do you get 400 watts packed in something that small, first of all? It may be possible somewhere, but my experience, I haven't seen anything that small 400 watts. 
And if so, I want to see it produce 400 watts worth of sound. I've not seen that yet. Maybe further in the future as the technology changes, probably will be able to see that. But as of now, no. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I haven't seen that. So, but without further ado, uh, the first product that I'll be reviewing on this channel after two years. I don't know if I might end up having to remove that or not. So, you can, y'all can take a look at this. This other one that I got on there, video before this one. I don't know if I'm going to end up having to remove it or not because I did play music for like a short period. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Because you sometimes that they'll let you play into music, period, no kind of way. But I know if it, if something has flagged anywhere, I know that that's the problem. Just delete it altogether. But anyway, without further ado, the item that we're going to be doing today is going to be the Fisher. I call it the tube. Right? Everybody has a tube speaker. A lot of people have them. But the reason why I bought this, I try to buy unique stuff. The reason why I bought this particular one, and you're looking right now, you probably can tell why I bought this particular tube speaker because it is huge. I've never seen a tube speaker that big, that long. And it's a carry on carry speaker, hand carrying tube speaker. You see some size, but not this long. This joker is over a foot long. Of course, you come with your basic. Uh, I've already did the liberty of opening this up. I was trying to shorten this video down. But it comes with your uh, standard jacks, uh, auxiliary jacks, and your power cord. No, there is not a adapter that goes on the end of this. You just use one of the adapters from one of your cell phones or something like that right there. Uh, the auxiliary jacks is good because you don't have to go buy any. They already have them in here. Do you need the auxiliary jacks? Probably not because you're using Bluetooth, but you can use this, and I'm going to tell you what this is for. These double, uh, this auxiliary jack is for, uh, I think you can do it with the auxiliary jacks and also to your phone and to another speaker. I think you can run, you can run two speakers simultaneously uh, this, with this particular speaker setup. So let's put that back in there. We're going to look here. On the speaker, it says a uh, hands-free microphone, with, uh, microphone, which is good. I mean, you can answer the phone on the unit, which is another reason why I got it. I like that. You can do that. Uh, it has FM radio. It has, uh, it doesn't say how long the battery life is right here, but it does say the auxiliary input in. It has that as well. True wireless. Uh, connect two speakers for true wireless. You can do like I said, two speakers at the same time. Uh, I don't know where this was made, but it does say developed in the USA, which is very strange to me because I haven't seen nothing that said made in the USA. Since I was real young. <laughs> just saying. I just have not. Okay. It says charging time. Three to four hours. I doubt it very serious. It takes three to four hours to charge it. I'll just put a higher, for me personally, I'm just going to help y'all out with that. I'll just put a higher voltage, just a little bit of higher voltage in there to make it pep up. Because it might be charging at 2.4 or something like that. Get you a 3.2 or 3.4 and just charge it a little bit faster. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's all good. Uh, working time, two to three hours run time is what it'll run. That's good. Power rating is 3 watts, 0.2. Distance for your Bluetooth is 32.8 feet. I don't know how true that is unless it's in a completely open setting where it's not turning any corners or anything like that. Probably probably so. It may do that. Frequency, 80 hertz uh, by 18 kilohertz. Bluetooth version 5.0. And that's what we're looking at. And that's, I think that's so much. That's it for the specs. Oh, uh, yeah. Infinity Portable Wireless Speaker. Okay. And again, I'm going to show you this. And that's your cover. So let's get rid of this box. Let's get down to the cotton studs thing. Let's go with it. So 
the speaker does has a nice little amount of weight on it. It's good. When I'm from, first of all, this is Fisher. I'm from the old school. And I was always taught, my dad always taught me, he said, son, if you go over there to that shelf and pick that speaker up and it feel like paper, put it back down. Don't spend your money. Because <laughs> you ain't got nothing. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. But nevertheless, this particular unit got a little bit of weight to it. You can't expect it to have too much because we're in the 2023. <laughs> and the fact is that it's so, this is supposed to be a can carrying unit. On the back of the unit as well, you can see inside, not on the outside, but in the inside, they put these little legs because it's round. That keeps it from moving and it sits still in one spot. The symbol is cheap. <sighs> I don't know why they just, well, I guess, I guess because of the price, I guess. I really, I got this for a really good price. It was only $10. I don't know how much it'll cost you guys, where you at, because it's different everywhere you go. But it cost me 10 bucks. And right here, again, it's a Fisher, and it's a little cheap symbol. Like they made it and just stuck it on there with some Elmer's glue or something. But nevertheless, it is that. All your fitting ends is on this side of the speaker. Trying to do this, trying to help somebody so they don't have to spend the money doing it. And, and they may see this and like, okay, that's what I want. Good, thank you for showing me this. This is what I want. So, hey, I'll go out and pick that up. Uh, I, this unit right here, actually, I paid $10 for it. That's a lot of speaker for 10 bucks, ain't it? Wow. And again, do not hold me to these prices because... These prices are subject to change, and also, depending on your demographical area, there's no telling what it is. You might be up in New York, it might cost $100, I don't know, I'm just saying. Anyway, and then again, it might be somewhere else, it might be cheaper than what I paid for it. But here's the uh, power button right here. It has the uh, up and down volume buttons here, up and down volume buttons there. Power button there. Mute is here. And then the center is a play and pause button. Now what I didn't, what I, I preferred to have was two more buttons if possible. That allows you to fast, to forward, and skip to the next song or back it up. But you don't have that capability. Now, the reason why I was looking for that capability is because of what I'm going to show you. Now, on here, this unit has the auxiliary jack, the plug-in with the auxiliary. It has USB, which I'm sure you can use that. So I'll probably end up using, using part of the battery. Probably can charge some or something, but I wouldn't do that. It's stupid. But you can use that for something. I'm, I don't know exactly what we can use that USB for right now, but it's there. Uh, then you have the micro USB uh, plug-in just so you know this is micro usb so you probably got a ton of these things laying around the house anyway that you can use because every package got some in it either that or lately type c has been taken over so uh and it has the tf slot now that's the reason i was speaking of to have that because you got the tf slot and you put your uh your uh, tf card in there and you're playing music and you want to skip it with the speaker itself, you can't. And I mean, it's not like Bluetooth. And if you're Bluetooth and you're playing the music, you can just change it with the phone, have full control of it. But if you're using just a TF car and you got to use the actual speaker unit itself, then you're going to need something to. I don't want to listen to this song. Like, you got the TF car now, you just got to listen to this. You don't have a choice. You can't skip it. <laughs> so, it would have been a, a good plus if they had this. And I don't really think they're going to go back and remake that. Fisher, price Fisher. That would be nice. But due to the price point, I don't think they would go back and try to change anything like that. It probably wouldn't even be worth the money or time for them to do that. Um. I don't think it'll be worth the time money to do it due to the price point that's on it. Um, but that would have been a nice feature. Nevertheless, just saying, would have been a nice feature. Uh, okay, and uh, these here, these ends are plastic. 
a little bit of rubber based on it, but everything is on this end of the speaker. I don't know how many speakers in it because you can't really see in here, but they did make it mighty long. And then the flat end. We can set it up or we'll set it down. Lay it down. Either way. Flat. Either way. But this is pretty much in a nutshell on this. Oh, yeah, I was going to power it on for you so you can see that. Power on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. They put a man on there this time. Wow. Normally, you always hear somebody that sounds like Alexa. <laughs> but this time, they put a man on it. And I thought that was I thought that was neat. Sound like Barry White or something. The Bluetooth device is ready to power. <laughs> but nevertheless, I mean, it, it talks to you. It lets you know when it's connected and all that right there. Even when you turn it off, it still lets you know. Uh, I was going to do... Uh, I'll try to anyway. Let's see. Find out the phone. I was gonna try to do a like just a ringtone to get kind of an idea. Uh let's see. First of all I gotta get it connected. Let's see. Y'all yeah, bear me for one second. And try to get to like just a ringtone or something like that. First of all, I gotta make sure it's connected. Let's see. Said previously done. Trying to give it a second and see if it's going to connect. I just turned the volume up high as it goes. As you heard those beeps, it lets you know that that's the high as it goes. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. And then it lets you know. I like it. It's very vocal. <laughs> so let's go back, and I'm just going to go over to... I'm going to try to do away with the music thing and just go with the... Uh, let's go with sound. And media volume. <laughs> It is immensely loud. It is loud. Woo. It's super loud, people. I don't know about bass, but this joker is loud. It'll fill your room easily. Let's see. And what I'm looking for is a ringtone just from the company. I guess this wouldn't cause an issue for us, uh, um, copyright, nothing like that. I guess it wouldn't cause problems. I said, come on your phone free. And it's not somebody's actual song. So let's see. <laughs> Woo! This thing is loud. It's worth every penny of nine ninety nine. When I tell you it's worth every penny, it's worth every penny. So when I tell you, it's loud, my goodness, you can easily put this on the corner of the table. And what I like about it is you can just stand it up tall. 
and take up less room. Just stand up edgeways and just let it sit there and take up less room. Take up hardly no room on the table at all. And this here will give you plenty of music and sound while you're sitting there. I guarantee you. Uh, you looking for something with some bass? Please tune in to some more channels. To some more, not more channels, but tune in to uh, more of uh, reviews I got coming up. And you're going to see what you're looking for. I already know the man. This will be more or less for, I guess, a sports guy or somebody that's like, I guess, playing cards or whatever. Or, you know, women love smaller things like smaller uh, items, I guess, like this right here, you know what I mean? But this one here long, so probably, they were like probably a shorter one better, I would say, so. Yeah, let's stop talking about that, because this don't even sound right, so just let me, let me put this down. That don't sound right. I try to just, I try to overlook that with the, with my emotional and facial expressions, but, uh, it didn't work, so I, I just try. I tried to fix it up the best way I could, but everything I said didn't sound right. So I'm just I'm gonna leave that alone. But okay. Um. Anyway, that is my review on the Fisher tube speaker. And again, I'm gonna get the. Uh, actually, I need to do one more thing for you guys. So I hold on. One, oh, there you go. I just want you to see. Ba -da -ta 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 -ta. Before I go, that boy is 15 and a half inches long. So that's a nice long. That's a. Never mind. It's a. Oh, it's a nice speaker. Leave that alone. Yeah, I, I'm going to get off this video. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> The Fisher 2 speaker is going for nine eighty nine. If you can find it, you got you a good buy. It's nice and loud. I don't know about the bass part, no. It's not putting out bass like that, no. Uh, but other than that, it's a nice speaker. It has a nice nice sound, nice tone, but you're not going to get any deep bass out of it, and I don't know why you would expect that with a speaker. It's small. So, that's going to be a conclusion for this video right here. And I'm going to get ready to uh, get out of here and uh, get myself prepped up for the next video. Because I actually have another one coming. Because I have two speakers that I wanted to put in review for today. So, plus this video is the end. And my exclamation to things is not coming out just the way I want them to come out. So, I'm going to stop explaining that part of it. And I'm going to get ready to let you guys get out of here. I hope that this video helped you guys to determine if that's the type of speaker that you like. If that's something that you want to look for or find. You can always hit me in, the, in my inbox at MississippiSurvivor at gmail.com. If you have a question, or just leave it in the comments, brother Ryan. Leave it in the comments because I haven't made a... Uh, I haven't made an email for this uh this uh, channel yet, so you can just uh you can leave a com leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to check that out and and uh help I mean wherever I can help you guys with that I will. If it's something that you guys want me to review, uh again, like I said, I'm buying all this stuff myself. If you wanna send it and I'll do the review on it. I don't have a problem with that either. No. But like I said, I'm spending my own money. This is not sponsored by anybody. So, if it's something that I can get that's in my reach, I'll go ahead and buy it. If not, if you want to send it and I do the review on it, we can do that as well. So, I'm going to let you guys get out of here. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And thank you again for your support. And thank you for joining in to Bluetooth Speaker Tech Channel. It's new and ready to go. And if you're checking out this channel, you can go over and check out my other channel, Mississippi Survivor. You'll love it. Peace out. See you next time.